heading into the blue seas of the Caribbean. During the cruise, I was treated to a three-session seaweed wrap and facial in the spa and have seen here with Jean, my spa therapist. We also made use of the hydrotherapy pool. And Randall, the sauna and steam room. Daily storms, which always seem to be on the horizon. About to take a table for lunch. So peaceful and relaxing. Beautiful sunsets. The moon above and sunset reflected in the lounge windows. The crew go all out for a charity event. With games, food and gifts to purchase. I donated this little fabric Christmas tree and earrings to the gift table. Another sea day ends. A new day starts around the pool on the Lido deck. This is a Christmas cruise and the catering team have erected their gingerbread village at the foot of the grand staircase. Which is also the backdrop for the housekeeping team as they practice a Christmas song. Guess what? Another day closes. This is the life. While the day closes, the night opens. After a couple of sea days, we arrive in St. John's Antigua late afternoon. Four ships in port already. MSC Seaview checking that at least one lifeboat still floats. We are actually reversing in, no tugs required, although at least one is on standby, and this is speeded up. Right alongside, we see a top heavy looking bit of sea equipment grounded for repairs. A heron keeps a watch out for a tasty snack while little boats swirl slowly in the slight currents. Is this a ferry arriving to drop off a single passenger? A waste barge comes alongside to take off some of the ship's solid waste. Taking a shipboard view of St. John's Town and the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. A local car ferry. Window cleaning on the MSC Sea View. On shore, a steel drum band is setting up, but are not due to play for 15 minutes. 
and our taxi awaits to whisk us away on an excursion. Rows of second-hand Toyota buses imported from Japan, complete with all signage in Japanese. Our tour guide has introduced herself as Sunny, and we wondered if this was her shop. Almost Christmas, five ships in harbour. It's Saturday, all shops are closed tomorrow. Mayhem in a gridlock town of narrow roads. The courthouse erected in 1753, damaged by an earthquake in 1843 and rebuilt in 1845. Burnt out supermarket. Chance taking drivers everywhere in the world. Tires on the canvas, quite a usual sight apparently. Grace Hill Moravian Church, built with local green limestone, established in 1773, a more affluent suburb. Another church in green limestone. A view of Elson's dockyard, but this excursion did not include a stop there. The Fisherman's House, I wonder why it is called that. The Catholic Church, pretty in pink. Semi-rural Antigua. The rainforest of Antigua, seen only in passing. Antiguan Cops in Action Heading back to the ship Street stores everywhere Statue of Gaston Brown Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda With the changes to our ship caused by the storms when leaving England, we have arrived half a day early in Antigua and stay overnight. The other four ships all leave. The Magic of Lights at Night Next morning, all alone but not for long as the star legend parks up. Out solo, not the best streets for walking or my electric scooter. A sudden deluge, which lasts only two or three minutes. Just the one, thankfully.
the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. Famous for its wooden interior. The long walk to our cabin after reboarding. While we sail out into the sunset, heading for Roadtown in the British Virgin Isles. <laughs> <laughs> 